Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the More Freedom Railroad. Oh, I was trying to hit the trying to hit the butt the horn. <laughs> it's because I didn't wasn't clicked on the on the engine. There we go. I got it. Uh, I. You know, you don't play for a week and you forget everything you know about the game. So we're back here in the More Freedom Railroad and in Railroader. And this is, and I've been looking forward to this game since I stopped playing last week. And so we are sitting here in Ella and we had just dropped off our passengers uh, here in Ella. And the passengers are now 16 of 60 in the in in the coach now uh so what we're going to do next is like at the bottom of the tutorial if you want work that pays well you'll want to run freight while we let the passengers load here at ella let's consider our freight options okay here in ella there are two types of freight customers ella house track is compulsor 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 I, I i give up now freight service uh, as part of your railroad's basic presence in the town, it passes through and serves customers in the area that don't have their own siding. Over the next few days, you will begin to receive such cars for the Ella and Whittier house tracks. Other examples are house freight houses and team tracks. Ellis Farm Supply is an example of contract freight service, which is how most customers operate. Contracts are available at different tiers. Higher tiers bring more traffic and at the upper tiers rewards. Cars for these types of freight are owned by other railroads. Their wheel bills are assigned automatically and cannot be changed. Note that cars delivered in poor condition pay less. Okay. Open the com company window with I and change to the locations tab. Find the Ella house track. Um, listed under Ella station. Next, find Ella Farm Supply. The location panel show the tracks for the locations and the contract details if applicable. You can click on the con on the location icon next to each tracks to zoom in the overhead camera. So, okay, that's the farm supply. So. This is the house track, and this is the Ella station, the one where we're on right now. Okay. Then you can also do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which these customers appeal, look appealing to you. Some customers have track layouts that make them more challenging to serve. Any of these would be a great fit. Great first contract to take, but save Whittier Sawmill for later once you've learned about captive service cars. Okay. Take two or three contracts for each customer. Click the Establish Contract drop down and select Tier 1. Tier 1. Ella Station. Apparently, I can't do that. Oh, so. If we did the Whittier Depot, which is, that's not those. So it went to your engine service, Whittier Interchange. So we could do a heating oil and this one. Okay, so let's do those. We haven't been to Conley Creek yet, so we're not going to do anything there. Which one did they say not to take? Uh, it was the it was the sawmill, so we didn't do any of the sawmill. So we did Stenzel Manufacturing, the heating oil, and the farm supply. Uh, let's get our passengers back to Whittier. Pull past the first switch. Oh, so I need to pull up here then, because there's no round, there's no roundabout, round, you know what I mean. Uh, 
Okay, so pull past the first switch in Ella, uncouple from the coach, and use the sightings to run around to the other side of the coach. So we pull past the first switch in Ella. We could actually go probably up here because he wants it, they want us to back down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And then we're going to forward, turn that off, give us some... Give us some throttle. Love it. Sounds so good. Also, I'm not a professional train. Not like I. I like watching trains. I don't. I don't know anything about them. Like I don't know. I couldn't tell you what. I mean, I, this is obviously a two six zero, but I don't know. Like specifics about the engine itself. I, know, I just like to look at the trains. Okay. Okay, so we're going to head down this track. Let's uh, turn that down just a hair. Okay, well, we're still... Yeah, we're coming into the yard, so... That one is lined up. That one is there. So that would be right there. Okay. Slow her down just a hair. Is that a station or a whistle? It's a whistle. Play a little bit of brake. Get it right here next to the station. Yeah, 18 passengers waiting. Keep her going, keep her going. Stop. All right, let's hit our tutorial. Okay, as you return to Whittier, make, sh make your station stop and cut off from the coach. We'll leave it here at the station for tomorrow morning. Pull ahead to the water tower and top off your water. Not bad for a first day in the company's window. Okay, let's do all of that first. So... And shift-click does okay so that's over here and let's check our oh we want to go back
see how close we are. Close enough. Honestly, need to top off our um, coal, too. That's like way over there, right? Somewhere. Wait, we're at Whittier, right? Yep. I think. Yeah. All right. So we did that. Let's see what we got. Okay. Um, in the company's window, which is, that's the console. Company's window. Under settings and time. Click the sleep button. This will let time pass during which customers and repair tracks will toil away the hours, though your trains won't move any faster during the time. Shortly after 6 a.m., you will see a notification that East Whittier Interchange has been served. Proceed to the interchange. That's the yard just behind the engine shed and see what cars wait. Use tab or the inspector to see their destinations. Your first priority should be putting the coal hopper in place behind the coal conveyor. After that, you want to deliver your customers' cars and take the passenger cars with you to Ella. A regular mixed daily train. Nice. Okay, sleep. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Okay. Wow. It's very, very dark. Let's go over here and see what... Well, let's just go to our train. Okay. Also, it's very dark. Is there a way to turn on the lights? Do we have lights? Is that a thing? I, can I turn... Is there lights on the back of this? What's that? Mm-hmm. Oh, jumped out. Nice. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Do I have like a flashlight? Oh, there's the sunrise. Uh, now we can sort of see... So we want this one straight, that one straight, that one is good, they're probably all good, and that one to the left, that one is straight, and then we have all these cars. That's our coal loader. Okay, so we want to do that one. All right. So we want to do the coal first. So we want to go around it and push it into the siding. So we'll want to do that. So... Uh, we're going to want to be on track one then. So.
This guy we want to switch to this way. And then it will send us down the track we want. Okay. All right, well, we're on our way. Again, I wonder how, there's probably a way to turn on your lights. So engines. Oh, so if I do this and I hit zero, okay, there we go, zero. And L is lantern, J. Gatter. And we got to go all the way to the end here. Let's make sure this guy is straight. Okay, so we're good. And do we have like a rear light? Send it. Reverser. Let's get that guy thrown. And we want to be on track. That track. So we want to. This one needs to go left. And this one would be straight. Okay. Let's go. And brakes. There we go. We're coming in. I wonder if our other locomotive is how it's doing. Keep going straight. Scrub a bunch of speed here. All right, keep her going, keep her going, keep her going. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit of speed. Not that much speed. Uh, bring her in, bring her in. Oh, B and O. All right, 
Well, we need to put this one over where it's supposed to go. So this one is good. That one is good. And we need to, yep, that one is good. That one is good, and that one is good. All right, so let's bring her forward. Um, mm, yes, purple. Where's the handbrake at? Purple means handbrake is on. I remember that. we should have the headlight on okay that one is good we need to pull past this switch perfect screenshot there we go. Would you look at that? Reverse it up. Bring her back in here so that one is good. Just got to get past this switch. And then we can reverse on to the other, the other cars. Make sure we get past uh, this switch here. I think that's probably good. Oh, full break. That was more than good. That one, and then that one. Click it once, because that does it. I almost crashed into our other train. That would have been devastating. Everything went would have went off the rails there. Remember, we can hit tab, see where this goes. I forgot to close our water hatch. Chef. There 
There we go. And put on the handbrake. I think it's good. Yeah, because it when it unhighlights, it's good. Okay. All right. So now all we have to do is reverse and same, basically the same way we came back. Turn all that off. Keep her going. Because we want to be... Yep. Just get past this switch. And then we're good there. Might as well fill up with coal. Right? Probably. All right, well, let's let this bad boy fill up with coal. We're definitely good on water. And that's got 47 tons of coal in it. I don't know if it'll, yeah, I don't know how it works. I don't know if I was, maybe I'm not in the right spot. Maybe it needs to go this way, but I think it's okay. I'm just a worry wart. Yeah, so I think it was, it's filling up as it goes. Okay. Uh, we can flip this switch. And then we want to stay on this track. And into those guys. So let's uh, reverse. All those cars. Do we want to take the caboose? Yes. We should... Uh, no, we're going to leave the caboose off, just in case. That one is good. Slow her down. Yeah, oh, a little too slow. A little too slow. A little too slow. So we're good on all of those. Um, 
forward we go. Would you look at that? It's our first train. I mean, our first freight train. We need to figure out where some of this stuff goes, by the way. pick up the caboose because why not right that's going to put it on to that track rob bakar I'll show my age, and I'm old enough to remember when they had cabooses on the back of trains and when they took them off. So, I mean, it's kind of cool to see them nowadays when you'll see just a train running with a caboose on it. Uh, a lot of times it's flaggers on the back from the videos I've seen. Not that I'm an expert, but, yeah, it's just neat to see a caboose on a train. So, I mean, let's just let's put her on there. Right? Right. Okay, handbrake is off. Were all these connected already? I think they were all connected. Yeah, 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 there they were. Forward we go. Actually, let's see where all these things go. Okay, so this Ella Farm Supply, Ella Farm Supply, Stencil Manufacturing, Hollyfield heat, Heating Oil. Uh, what is this guy? Let's uh, bring up the locations. Hollingford Heating Oil is where? In relation to where we are. Okay, so it's right there. Uh, stand, stencil Manufacturing is in the same spot. So the heating oil track and the stencil are both there. Oh, they're next to the Yellow Depot. And then the farm supply is way down there. So, okay. We are good to go. Okay, that track is good. That track is good. That track is good. That one is good. That one is good. We're not doing those. This one needs turned. And that one is good. And that one is good. So we need to bring... Uh, we need to be on... This track, heating oil is going to go here, and manufacturing will go here. Okay. Three hundred and fifty eight tons, baby. Let's go. Oh. 69 on the throttle. Okay, we're good on that one. Should be good on this one. 
Good, good, good. Good, good. We own those cars. I didn't bring this back up. Almost as much as this train can handle. Now I know there's AI in this game, like that can take your trains for you to places. From what I understand. I did see in the thing that there are keyboard controls for everything. So if I wanted to um, engine brake and stuff right there, forward reverse or throttle up and down so I don't have to do that. I like that where this is, I can use the keyboard controls for the throttle and stuff, which is nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we want to put We'll figure it out My lantern was on Bring our throttle down some. That's going to be straight. So. We need to put. Okay. Those two cars go there. So let's uh, hit some brakes. While we figure this out. Um, okay, so this guy goes here. So that means I need to... So I want to take this guy off. So, so we need to back up some. So let's reverse up. I want to push this guy back past this point to right here because he goes to the heating oil which is right there push him back past that And cut them out. Forward. Pull that guy out. We will run up to here and push those other guys back. So let's make sure that this is correct. It was not, it was correct. Get past this switch, slow her down. Just a little bit of tickle of the brake air. There we go. Put that guy. It's going to take us back onto this track. And then we flipped this guy. 
and we'll take him back into there. All right. It's just these two. I'm going to make sure that that is the case. Okay. Keep her going. We're good. We're good. We got to keep her. You just got to keep her going there, bud. A little bit of tickle a break. we're good there we go we heard it go cha ching I didn't apply the handbrake on this guy I'm hopefully it's still sitting there <laughs> let's hit the handbrake just in case on at least one of these things. All right, now we can... Let's go ahead and grab our... Hmm, how do we want to do this? I suppose I want to put... Do I want to put the passengers in between there? Well, let's head forward because we got to go forward anyway. She coming in. We coming in hot. So we're gonna kind of continue on with that with the plan that I had. Um I've got ideas. I just, you know, I'm like, well, how long is this going to take? We were going a little fast there. I don't think we we're coupled. That'll do her. Uh, that is in the front. So release. We got zero of 60 passengers. Four of 
crate. Yeah, farm supply. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, load up, dudes. Uh, they didn't they didn't load uh, let's go forward and then come back and see if they I don't think I had to do anything to make them load. I just... Oh, no, 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 no. I think I had to do... Um, What was it? What was it? What was it? Passengers. Um, was it under I? Um... Whittier Station. Ella Station. That wasn't it. Um, control click. Passengers tab. Ella Station. There we go. There we go. That's what we needed to do. So let's let them load up real fast. And hurry up. Get on, get on, get on. We got things to do, places to go, people to see. Okay. Reverse it. Like, but we're going backwards. Uh, trust me, dudes. We're gonna be li listen. There's gonna be a bit of a we got a bit of this thing going on her. And this one will be this way. Did I get it switched? We switched, baby. Let's go. That one is good. Get past it, hit some brakes. Putting the train in the middle is what we're doing. I don't know if this is commonplace or not. That passenger car is just in the way, is why. I wish I could put it at the end. I don't know if that's a thing or not. That's released and release and release. Okay, we should be good that way and that way and that way. Okay, let's go.
Okay, right at the end there. So what I'm going to do is, it's going to take a little bit extra time, but I'm going to put the caboose on the end of those freight cars up there. Actually, I think we might just leave the caboose here. We don't, I don't, it's going to just get in our way. Are we in it? We're in her. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this caboose back because I should have just left it there. And. Keep her coming, keep her coming, keep her coming. That's it, bring her in, bring her in, Mike, bring her in. Ease her up, ease her butt. Get to about, to, yeah, keep her going. Give me a couple chuffs. Don't jostle those passengers now. All right. Off we go. We're going to jump up here real fast. So the Ella Farm Supply is right there. And the Ella Station is right there. Okay. So that means we got to pull into here and drop that old train off. So. So if you hold shift it move and you hit the buttons, yeah, see. Oh, that's cool. So the plus and mi the minus moves gives you more throttle, plus gives you less. Cuz it's based upon left and right and not plus and minus. So if you hold shift and you hit it once, it goes 70, you know, it goes up by 5. You just hit it once, it just is, you know, just a couple. It's just a little bit of a tickle there. Well, we're going to need to do that a little bit. Maybe give us a little bit of, just a little bit of break here. Just give us a little bit of break there. There we go. Trying to stay about 25 and 30. Mile marker. Take a little break. We're getting into a downhill section, I think. Yeah, I see 30 mile an hour zone right here.
uphill a little bit here, it looks like. far away are we? Oh, we got a couple turns left here. Oh, we're bringing her in right here. Okay, so what we can do is, yeah, we're going to bring her in onto this track and then run around to the other side. We got to make sure the whole thing is correct. If that makes sense. Makes sense to me. We're going to put the caboose back where we got it, is what we're going to do. And this is off. Oh, yeah, because this is where we drop our train at. That's the stop for that. So what we're going to do is come up here. Get past all of this. Okay, keep her going, Mike. Keep her going. Keep her going. And kill her. Okay. Did I flip it? Did I flip it correct? There we go. Bring her back, bring her back. It's good, it's good. We got plenty of run back room here, so we're good. Well, and then this means we can just pull them back to there, unload them, and we should be good to go back the other direction. Okay, keep her going. We need to be on this side to flip the switch. Keep her going, keep her going. Good job, Mike. I don't know who Mike is, but he's doing a good job. And we should be good all the way back. car lengths here, buddy. They might be all the way in there. There we go. All the way in now. Let's make sure. Okay, I think they're both in there. Are they? Yep, they're good. Hit that, hit that, hit that, hit that. Back. 
back her up the way we just came. And then we got to shove her onto that track. Okay, we're going. Yep, 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 yep. A couple more feet here. Yep, and then into that guy. All right. Keep her going. Yep, 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 yep. And finally, finally, we can reverse back. Hey, and we haven't derailed yet, knock on wood. Now it should, we should just start emptying, right? There we go. Wow, that was a lot of work there today as we empty our passengers off the, here at the Ella station. And we have to remember that like here, we just, it'll automatically send us back to Whittier and then when we're, in, when we're at Ella, I'm sorry, when we're at Whittier, we click on the station. I'm going to have to try to remember that for next time. But let's get all these passengers unloaded finally here on the More Freedom Railroad. And we'll head back to Whittier in the next episode as there is one, two, one, and we're good. So let's check our finances, I guess, in our company tab. Let's look at our finances. Uh, $30 for ticket fees. We have $5,200 and we made um, $140 bucks there, $65 there, $118 there. We spent, you know, as much as we made almost. So, um, hey, we made a little bit of money. We're up in the positive by $242. Bucks. So, I think we're doing okay. We can, we'll eventually get into the next parts, but hey, Thanks so much for coming. Thanks so much for hanging out here. This has been a very long episode, and uh, I'm really enjoying this game. It has been a lot of fun just to be able to drive trains and do train stuff. So until next time here on the More Freedom Railroad, take care. <laughs>